The workspace feature on ScreenHub allows you to add more users to generate and edit content on your sign and organize multiple displays under different accounts. The first feature of adding users can be accessed by going to the top right corner and clicking near your name. Just below you'll have workspace management. This will open up the window in which you can add more users. To add another user it's just as simple as selecting add user and putting their email, their first name and their last name. The last thing to do before formally adding them is to give them a role. The role of member and manager are very similar. Both have the option to upload and edit content, be that media or playlists. The only difference between the two is that a manager can also add more users to the sign. Once you've assigned the role, you can select add user, and now this email address will be able to access the sign. To do so, they just need to go to v2.screenhub.com and put their email and then select Forgot Password to create their new login. The other use for the workspace feature is to organize multiple displays into different accounts. To do so, we'll go to the display page, and you'll notice here I have two displays. For this exercise, I'm going to move Demo Display 2 to its own workspace. The first step is to create a new workspace to house it. I'll go here to the top left corner and select Add Workspace. Then, I'll give it a name and press Save. Navigating to this workspace will show that it is currently empty. We're going to change that by moving this display over. Before you move your display over, there's some key information that you need to get. You can access that by pressing Settings here. Your sign is going to be online, so it's going to have a string of letters and numbers where it says Player ID. This info is really important as it links your sign to the website. To transfer a display over, you'll need to copy this code and I recommend pasting it somewhere, be it a new tab or a sticky note, that way you still have access to it. After you've copied it, you can go ahead and delete that, allowing the new display to be linked to your sign. You'll also have your pixel height and pixel width, which are going to give you the dimensions of the sign for the website to use when it comes to content creation. Keep those in mind too, I recommend writing them down, that way they're easily transferred to the new workspace. Last info is just going to be your sign's location, and this is used for weather data, that way you get the most accurate forecast. Once we have all that info down, you can go ahead and delete this display here, because we're going to transfer that info to the other workspace. So we'll go over here to that new workspace we created, and we'll select Add Display. Here, we can input the title. You will paste your player ID right here and you can also put in the pixel dimensions. Select the time zone and the address. After you've done all of that, you can press save and now your sign is officially moved over to a new workspace. The next step is to create content under the playlist section for you to program your sign. Taking a look between the two workspaces lets us know that now they're divided into two separate accounts. So using the add user feature, we're able to now assign specific emails to one display and specific emails to the other. For more information about ScreenHub and all of its features, be sure to check out our YouTube channel or the help section of v2.screenhub.com.